Good morning students. Today we are going to learn the poem The Worm written by Ralph Berzen Grin. So this poem is about worm or earthworms. So what is worm or earthworms? Earthworms are small animals without arms or legs. They are mostly found in soil but we can also find them under rocks or wet leaves. We also find them when we dig up the soil in our garden so that we can sow seeds, plant saplings or put manure in the soil. So when we used to dig up the soils to sow the seeds or put uh, manure in the soil or plant the sapling, we can easily see this or we can easily able to see these worms, these worms or earthworms in the soil. This is the Kavita, which is the worm. This is Ralph Bazin Grand. इस कविता में हम लोग वॉम के बारे में पढ़ेंगे कि वॉम क्या है और वॉम के लाइफ साइकिल के बारे में जानेंगे। So let's read the poem. When the earth is turned in spring, the worms are fat as anything, and birds come flying all around to eat the worms right off the ground. They like the worms just as much as I like bread and milk and apple pie. And once, when I was very young, I put a worm right on my tongue. I didn't like the test a bit, so I didn't swallow it. But oh, it makes my mother squirm because she thinks I ate that worm. <coughs> so here, in the first line of the poem, we can see when the earth is turned in spring, so here, earth is turn in spring means earth is turn. Earth is turn in in spring. So here, earth is turn in spring means the soil is dug up. The soil is dug up. So when the soil is dug up, the worms can be seen, and the worms can be seen that they can be seen as fat, as fat as anything. So these worms become very fat during the spring. But why the worms become very fat during the spring? How why they become fat? What is the reason mm, they become fat? The poet says that in spring season, the poet wanted to say that, that during the spring season, the earthworms get plenty of insects and fly to eat. And when they consume this plenty of in, plenty of insects and flies, what happen? They turn fat. And when they become fat. They got attracted by whom? By they got attracted by birds. Birds used to get attracted by this by seeing these worms, by seeing these fatty worms. So <clears throat> the and and birds come flying all around. So they started to fly all around, flying all around just as to pick, just as to pick these worms from the ground and they want to consume them. So how they consume birds first of all search all over the ground for earthworms they used to pick them with the help of the beaks and eat it they like the worms just as much as i like bread and milk and apple pie so here they like the worm just as much as i so here i means poet so here poet is saying that just as he liked bread milk and apple pie this were his favorite food his favorite foods so uh, just as his favorite foods were the birds favorite food were worms <clears throat> just as the poet liked to eat bread milk and apple pie the, uh, the birds used to uh, like to eat this worms this fatty worms and once when i was very young i put a worm right on my tongue so when the poet was a small boy, was a small boy, what did he do? He put a worm right in his tongue. He put, he take a worm and just he put it in his tongue. <clears throat> and when he put the worm in his tongue, he didn't like the test. He didn't like the test. Means it was not good. It was not good in test. So, uh, and so I didn't swallow it. So the poet, so the poet, what did the poet do? The poet didn't. Sallow it. Sallow here means to eat but not feed. Means he didn't consume the food. <clears throat> but what did he do? He just threw that out. He just threw it out from his mouth because it was not good in taste. But oh, 
it makes my mother squirm because she thinks I ate that worm. So here, <clears throat> the meaning squirm means means uh, not feeling comfortable or feeling uh, panic by seeing something strange. So here, the strange is what. And the point C, so when the point mother <coughs> noticed that the little boy has consumed the worm or had taken the worm in his mouth, mother got very shocked. Mother got very shocked and she feel very um, discomfort by seeing this. So what did he do? He saw, she shouted, the mother shouted, the point mother shouted to the, shouted at the little boy, shouted to the point. Because she thought that the little boy had at the worm. So here in this picture we can see first of all the worms become during the spring season these worms become very fat and when they become very fat they got attracted by the these birds. They used to bird used to search all over the ground for this fatty uh, for this fatty earthworms and they used to pick them with uh, pick them with the help of the beaks and they used to consume it means they used to eat it. And just as the point like the bread, milk and apple pie, the birds also like to eat the earthworms. <clears throat> and there is the incident given, there is the incident given, the incident of the pike that he has just in his childhood put an earthworm in his tongue, on his, sorry, in his, on his tongue because he was not aware of the test of the earthworm and he was not aware that this, uh, this, is, this, food, is, this food was not good to consume. So by mistaken, he had consumed the earthworm on his tongue and uh, <clears throat> what happened? Uh, he was scolded by his mother for taking the earthworm in his mouth because he was in confusion, because he got in confusion because he thought that the white has the boy, the boy has eaten the, the worm. So this is a very short poem. This was about worm. Hope you had enjoyed the poem. Okay. So... <clears throat> okay, have a good day.